They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States in the rifle in red, it's Vasily the Viper, Marca And for Mexico in the pumped up purple, it's Julio the Dynamo, Vallarta! Three countries, three players, one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's World Championship Games, let's go to our referee, Moore Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Hello, Mike. Here's a look at where all of our countries stand so far. All of today's teams are still looking for their first gold, and the results of these games will certainly affect the standings. To find out how, let's get underway. We're going to go, Mo. And you know, folks, they are slam dunking in Boston, Berlin, Barcelona, but nowhere do they slam dunk like they do in the extreme arena. Folks, our players will be jumping up on these elastic sports fantasies, going high sky, thunder dunking, little aerial sports. Let's go to Mo. For the rules, Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will grab a basketball, jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible, and baskets only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, we begin the competition and going up strong, all three of our players. Thunder dunk in their first basket. That's Brooke Skywalker doing. She walks the sky very nicely, grabbing the rim and scoring her second. A three-way tie. All three of our players with now three. Three to three to three. 40 seconds left. Oh, and with the figure roll off the rim. No one went in for purple. Brooke up with another. Dumping it right in. And red right with the rim. Brooks in the lead with six. With five, red with six, but Brooke with seven, purple with six. Brooke goes up strong again. She has the lead as purple scores seven. Red has six. Red missing that. Brooke with nine in blue. Ten seconds left. She's having trouble on the bridge. Red and purple catching up. Nine for blue. Nine for purple. Oh, blue missed the last one. Purple scored at the buzzer. Let's go to Bo. Julio came in first place with 10 baskets. In second place was Brooks scoring nine baskets. In third place, Vasily scoring seven baskets. Watch the Viper in red, sticking his fangs into this red. Bang, bang, right in there. Brooke the Skywalker too, she was tied for the lead. As the seconds ran out, she went up strong, but fumbling on the last shot. That cost her the game because the Dynamo went up. Little purple jug. Dynamo, boom, gets the win. Let's go to Mo for leaderboard, Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Julio from Mexico. In second place with 200 points, Brooke from the USA. In third place with 100 points, Vasily from the CIS. Here's how it works. The play with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And now it's time for us to meet this amazing American whose sky is so high, some say she can fly. Hey, Brooke Skywalker 2, time to spill your guts. Thompson from Charlotte, North Carolina, USA. I like track and swimming, but my favorite sport is basketball. My favorite athlete has to be my father. He played professional basketball in the NBA. He helps me become a better basketball player and a better athlete. To be a good athlete, you have to be dedicated, try hard, and have a great attitude. Our next event, the Extreme Arena, has been transformed into a cataclysmic world for our post-nuclear race, Mad Max. Our players can't stop because they got to roll right down the ramp and then make a turn as they come through, jetting through the junkyard. As they make the next turn, they'll then go 
jamming over the jumps and then powering through pothole pass, making the final turn as they destroy that dead end. Cross the finish line for the finish. Let's go to Mo for the rules, Mo. Players will race around the track, making sure to go through each obstacle. Time penalties are assessed for any infractions. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Well, Brooke lost her momentum at the end of slam dunk, but she's picking up the pace very quickly. And Mad Max, as she makes it through the jump, no problem over there. Oh, she went off the track. Premature, my analysis. She did have a problem as she went into the track. That will be a time penalty, so she's really going to have to pick up the pace as she destroys the dead end and comes across the finish line. As the clock stops, we'll go to Mo and find out just exactly what her time is. Mo. Brooke clocked in at 32.6 seconds. That includes one five-second penalty for a missed obstacle and one two-second penalty for going off the track. So you see just how hard it is to maintain control. Looks like up next is Vasily. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle begins a perfect opportunity for Vasily to get right back into it. Oh, he's smoking around these corners. Right through the jumps. Maintains control. I don't think he went off the track. Mad Max has come to this man's bike. Rocking and rolling across. Blowing out those cinder blocks he needed a first place finish because he goes into this event with 100 points. So if that time's official, he is in the lead. Mo, how's it look? He looks like he's in the lead. Vasily clocked in at 19.5 seconds. Fearless Vasily, the Viper, putting a little sting into Mad Max. And up next will be our leader, Julio the Dynamo. He looks to be ready and certainly concentrated. On your mark, get set. Tough time to beat. You see above the moving clock, 19.5. He's going to have to pick up the pace because this ceiling was blowing through these events. Right here. Making the turn. All right, so the Dynamo is not really picking up the pace. Doesn't look like he's going to have first place finish as he comes across the cinder blocks. He's a little lackadaisical on his third turn. We'll go to Mo and find out what his official time is. Mo. Julio's time was 21.2 seconds, so Vasily comes in first place, Julio in second, and Brooke in third. Well, if you bump the pedals, you can pick up the pace, but as Brooke realizes, there's much more to this race. Off the track as she loses control on the jumps. That hurt her with a penalty. And Vasily, oh, maintain it. Inside the white line, Vasily with first place points. He's right back into it. Let's check out the leaderboard, Mo. Mike, Julio from Mexico is in the lead with 500 points. In second place is Vasily from the CIS with 400 points. In third place, Brooke from the USA with 300 points. Two events now, we're turning this place upside down, folks. You come back, we got a little scrumble. We'll defy gravity with zero G, stick around. Global Guts for three players still battling out for the global gold. But right now, let's get to meet this righteous Russian slithering to stardom. Hey, Viper, spill your guts. Hello, my name is Vasily Makarchuk, and I'm from Belgorod, Russia. I love hockey, soccer, and tennis. But most of all, I love rollerblading because I like the speed. To win in sports, you need agility, strength, and confidence. I've never been to America before Global Guts, and I really love Orlando. Let's get ready to rumble! A little Global Guts rugby, it's called Scrumble, and you're pushing, you're pulling, you're mauling, you're crawling, you're hopefully scurring, Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, players will grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player with the most balls in their goal at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. In the lead is Julio. Julio, down in the schoolyard, no. He's in the guts yard, the extreme arena right now. Can he hold on to victory? But Brooke the Skywalker is determined to take victory. 
as the Viper picks up two, deposits two. Julio with one. A little finger roll. Brooke pushing, pulling, and another. Very close with 500 points, Julio is in the lead. But Red, Viper with two. And looks to be right now in the lead. The Viper, as Brooke with another. And the Viper with two more. Coming back. Oh yeah, on the ground is Julio. Brooke has eight. She scores nine as time runs out. Julio with another, let's go to Mo. Masili came in first place with 13 goals. Brooke came in second place with nine goals. Julio came in third place with eight goals. You gotta have efficiency, you gotta have power, and on the go in the global show was the Dynamo. Fumbling the scrumble ball, but coming back with a little delivery. It wasn't enough because the Viper turned into a venomous vacuum. And a little personal Easter egg hunt. Picking up those scrumbled eggs. They're ready to be scrambled after that victory. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard, Mo. Vasily from the CIS is in the lead with 700 points. In second place is Julio from Mexico with 600 points. In third place, Brooke from USA with 500 points. So Global Competitives does not crumble after scrumble. And right now, we're about to defy gravity and zero G. But first, let's get to know our Dynamo from Mexico. Julio, spill your guts. Hola, mi nombre es Julio. Hi, I'm Julio Bolarta, and I'm from Monterey, Mexico. I like skating and American football. My favorite sport is soccer. They call me the Titan because I'll crush all of my competitors. My favorite soccer player is Jorge Campos of the Mexican national team. He's not afraid to take chances, but he's very brave. Competition may have gone global, but this next event is truly out of this world. In zero G, our players must defy gravity as they run the rigors of this race horizontally through space. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero G course. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is Brooke, and her nickname is the Skywalker. Let's see if she fulfills the skywalking prophecy, and she certainly does. Coming up to the edge of nothing, she's gotta pick up the speed around the turn. And indeed, she stays horizontal, but comes crashing into the turn. She's gotta pick the pace back up. Coming back into the next hurdle, right over. And across the finish line. And the skywalker went aerial in zero G. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time for Brooke. Mo. Brooks' time was 22.3 seconds. We'll see if the Viper can stick his sting right into the turf of the zero-G track. Now, he's been laying horizontally on the aerial bridge. Looks like he is now ready in his horizontal harness to take on Brooks' time. On your mark, get set. And off! Vasily! He's our leader! With 700 points, and he doesn't want to lose the lead. This man is from Russia and rocking the turf. Look at this man go. Vasily out with the shoulder. Rolling. He wanted to do a log roll across the finish line, and he certainly did. Roll it. If that's official, it's victory, or should I say, in place for victory. We still got one more player to go. Let's find out from Mo if that time is now in the lead. Indeed it is, Mike Vasily uh, came in at 16.4 seconds. The Viper. Up next, Julio the Dynamo in purple. This man is only trailing the Viper by 100 points. Let's see if he can beat his time. On your mark, get set. The Extreme Arena is rocking and the purple section is certainly Rocking some noise. Oh, the Dynamo losing control. He regained his composure. Could it be victory across the finish line? Oh, oh, so close. Let's go to Mo. Julio's time was 16.6 seconds. So Vasily squeaks in with first place. 
Julio has second place and Brooke has third place. Take a look at the craziness of Zero G. Brooke the Skywalker comes out of the edge of nothing, comes tumbling face first into the wall. She never regained a victorious time. Julio also swinging on the rope like it was a Tarzan swing and he was landing in the water, but he landed in the Zero G turf. Try to get a toehold, but Vasily the Viper, it was victory all for him as he comes rolling over the finish line to victory. Magnificent work defying gravity. Yesterday, I had a chance to talk to Brooke the Skywalker 2. Here's what she had to say. Skywalker 2, where'd you get that nickname? My dad's nickname was Skywalker. And who's your dad? Um, David Thompson, he played in the NBA. And what's he doing now? He's a youth coordinator for the Charlotte Hornet. All right. Now, what you're doing now is you're competing here on Guts. And what do you expect to see when you climb up the crag? Nobody else up there with me. <laughs> Perfect. So it's going to change the look of the leaderboard after that fourth event. Let's go to Mo and see how it looks now. Mo. Vasily from the CIS is still hanging on to first place with 1,000 points. In second place is Julio from Mexico with 800 points. In third place, Brooke from the USA with 600 points. Well, they come from all over the globe to take on one thing, the Super Agro Craig, who will get the Global Guts Gold. The top of the peak will be there first. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Guts, and bang, we're back, that's right, and coming up the crag, the points have gone through the roof, 375 for third place, 550 for second, a whopping 725 for first, let's check out the leaderboard and move. Mike, after four events, Vasily from the CIS is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Julio from Mexico with 800 points, in third place, Brooke from the USA with 600 points. That is where they stand now. How they got there, starting in slam dunk. The Viper going up strong. He had a nice move on here. But he got third place in this event. Going up strong was Julio. The Dynamo got first place. We go to Mad Max in. In the bumps, the Skywalker got grounded. Off the track, costing her precious second. She took third. The Viper came back strong. Regaining control, got first place in Mad Max, and he liked the taste of first place. Julio in scrumble, had a delivery of one, but as I said, liking how first place felt, going back very strong was the Viper, sticking two more in, and then at the edge of nothing, Brooke the Skywalker trying to go horizontal, slamming into the wall. It took another turn from the Viper on fire, sticking his fangs in the first place. And ladies and gentlemen, the competition has been hot so far. Now it's about to get even hotter because we are now at the Super Agro Crag. First it was the Agro Crag, and it evolved into the Mega Crag. Now the Super Agro Crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you more. Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around this great place, Planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. It's time to get it started. Let's kick it off. Mo! On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, they begin the climb up Boulder Canyon, leading to the first actuator. And it's all haywire. Chaos and mayhem on the 
super aggro drag as the rumbling rocks come rolling down on our players. Rook in blue looks to be at the ice wall at the same time. In purple, who's it gonna be? Blue and purple, it's purple. Then blue, then it's the top. Fatili, let's go to Mo. In first place on the super aggro crack, Julio from Mexico. In second place, Brooke from the USA. And in third place, Vasily from the CIS. What a finish on the super aggro crack here today. Heading up past Boulder King in the switchback bend. The fog, the smoke, the snow. Trying to slow down the Skywalker, but she kept on climbing as the rumbling rocks rolled over on top of her. Ice wall at the top was the Dynamo and Brooke both at the peak at the same time. Who's going to get it? Up first, it was the Dynamo and then the Skywalker and then locking in third was the Viper. What a finish to today's Super Aggro Crag in our competition. Let's go to Mo for the final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here they are, Mike. The Super Aggro Crag certainly decided it today. In third place, Brooke from the USA with 1,150 points. In second place, Vasily from the CIS with 1,375 points. Our winner today, Julio from Mexico with 1,525 points. Another exciting conclusion to our global competition. The bronze will go to Brooke Skywalker to Thompson. Standing tall and taking back the bronze. What a competitor here today, knocking back a bronze medal. Vasily, all the way from Russia, won three events today here at Global Guts. The true competitor for Team CIS, he will take back the silver. And you are now hearing the national anthem of Mexico because Julio, the Dynamo, Bayarta, will take home the global guts, gold, and a glowing piece of the radical rock. He's now holding it high for all in the extreme arena team. And he is victorious to global guts. He will go back to Mexico, a true champion. Number one here today, Julio the Dynamo. That's right, my man. Now it's time for Brooke Vasili and our champion Julio to take victory lap around the Extreme Arena. Getting hugs and kisses from mom and dad. Showing what kind of family support happens here on Global Guts. Oh yeah, and three more proud kids competing. Global equality here in a kid way. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.